Um, like we said in our last video, um, we're looking at creating a piece um, that goes straight up and through uh, our top piece. So I'm going to select that top piece. I'm going to put a sketch on there. Um, and we really just need to find the middle of this. So we're going to go with a C for circle. Um, I'm going to throw a circle in there, six millimeters. Um, it's our go-to, which works pretty well. Um, uh, is going to suit us very well here. So D for dimension. I'm going to go from there um, to the side. Uh, now this dimension here won't be 50. Uh, it's going to be 47, uh, taking away the three from the side. So dimension from here to here, this one will be 50 uh, because that's going to give us then the middle of our 100 piece. There's no extra piece on the side here. E for extrude, I'm going to grab that circle. I'm going to go with minus three to cut a hole. I'm going to cut and select OK. So right now we have now a hole in there as well. Now this one here, uh, we're going to turn that sketch back on. So I'll turn the others off here. Uh, I actually want to extrude um, just see for extrude first, then grab the hole. Um, and I want to go with two sides. Again, I want to look at the front uh, to see how this is sort of going to go. And this, I want to bring down, say, 20. I'm going to go up. Uh, say 30. So this can probably actually come down even a bit further. 25. Um, and we're going to click uh, New Component. And we're going to go with OK. This component we're going to call the arm. Uh, and this is what's going to do the moving. So it's important that we get this part correct. All right. We now need to flip around and have a look up underneath. Uh, because we need to draw a bit of a rectangle out through this uh, and extrude it and, and sort of sort a few things out there. So um, we're going to turn the base off. And for now, I might even turn that pin off. And I'm now going to rotate around and put a sketch on the base of that. Uh, and this will be... Uh, let's go with a rectangle. We're going to go with a rectangle. D for dimension. Let's say 12 by 12. Um, and a dimension in the middle there, 6 and the dimension in the middle here, six. So we've got that circle right in the middle. Uh, we then need to extrude the square and the circle down. Uh, and what we want to do is make sure that it's going to go through uh, our hole here, which it's clearly going to do. We don't need any excess. Um, in that, so what we might actually do is view um, from the right hand side uh, and you can see that we've got it pretty close to the middle uh, that's going to work for us nicely um, and we're going to join that to the arm so we need to make sure the arm selected over here and select join uh, now this is going to impede on uh, our pin. Uh, so in order to fix that, um, we do just have to jump back uh, and we want to extrude the, the circle here. It's, it might be a little bit tough to select. Uh, we might actually have to turn the sketch on and probably help. This one, we want to extrude that right the way through. 
And the objects we want to cut is just that. Um, so we're going to click OK. Uh, and we now have our hole through there. And our pin, if we turn our pin back on, will come right through as well. Okay. A uh, couple of things to make this look a little more aesthetically pleasing. We'll select those top edges, give them a fillet, and say maybe two. Okay. And go up underneath. And I might give those a fillet of two as well. Uh, and maybe we go all the way around the sides with that fillet as well. Um, so we can select all of these um, sort of as we go. Some of them won't be the easiest to select. Um, but what we will do is rotate around. And get the last couple here. So this is really just for uniformity um, to make things sort of all look similar. If we go with two, um, then you can see there we've got quite a nice neat little uh, join on there. Uh, it's now time to add some more uh, joints. To this, um, so we need a a slide here. Uh, sorry, we need a slide here at the top, and we need uh, a rotation in here. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is measure um, with inspect. I'm going to measure from the edge there down to the edge there, four millimeters, which is perfect. Um, and I only need that measurement because uh, we need to know how far to offset this. So I'm going to grab this, shift it out of place, go back to joint, capture the position, this end of the circle, with that one there. You can see that's there. It's now fixed, uh, and I don't want it to be fixed want that to be four millimeters out and motion we want that to rotate and select OK uh, and then I want to select uh, these two components here so another join uh, and I want to select I don't know how easy that's going to be for me to do turn the arm off for a minute I want to select the inside of that and then the outside of our arm, and this time I want to put in a slider. Right, now I'm not sure that I've selected that correctly actually. Um, it would actually be easier for me to put in the slider afterwards. If I turn off the arm, I want to try and select um, the actual, maybe I need the edge there, um, and turn the arm back on, and the edge, let's say the edge there, we don't want it to revolve though, we want it to slide, And that's not going to work for us. You can see how we got a whole heap of red, uh, which is not what we're after. And it's not really wanting to do that for me, which is a little frustrating. Um, and if I turn the sketches off, I actually select the side, hit joint, and select the arm. the motion of the slide. Some things just don't like doing what they're told. 
uh, and this seems to be one of them. And we will solve that problem shortly.